Hello and welcome to another tutorial from AKCP. Today we're going to be having a look at the virtual sensors and in particular the ping command within the virtual sensors interface. So the first thing that we need to do is go right ahead and click the sensors tab at the top of the page. Once we've done that uh, you then need to click on the virtual sensors uh, at the bottom of the page. You can see I'm already on this page at the moment and uh, normally you would come through to this page which is the sensor ports page but by clicking on the virtual sensors at the bottom it brings you to the virtual sensors page. Uh, so we'll choose a sensor port uh, in which to install our uh, virtual sensor and we'll go to virtual sensor port 2. Okay, um, once we've done that we then get the configuration button that appears at the bottom of the screen and we'll go right ahead and click the configuration button. Okay, and then we need to select our source. And as I said earlier we're going to be having a look at the ping command. So we'll highlight the ping and then click next. Okay, so the first thing that we've got here now is the uh, sensor name. And what we're going to do is we're going to be uh, pinging uh, one of our sensor probe 2 units. So I'll change the sensor name to ping of sp2. Uh, the host uh, box below is the IP address of that unit. Uh, in this instance that's 10.1.5.2. 11. Uh, then below that we have our uh, normal state value. Uh, so if you think of the virtual sensor as an on and off switch, uh, when it's in a normal mode you get a reading of 0 uh, and when it's in a, an off or high critical status you would get a uh, reading of 1. So we're going to go ahead and leave that as 0 at the moment because we want to be alerted uh, to when it's uh, not responding. Uh, below that we have the description of the status when in normal. Now obviously we don't want that to say normal, uh, we actually want that to say uh, online. And when obviously uh, it's in a critical status the unit would be offline, so we'll change it to offline as well. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and click next. Okay, uh, now we have our polling interval. Uh, now this is how often uh, the ping command is sent to the unit, so it's sent every 15 seconds. Uh, we also have the uh, execute the timeout, which is the uh, number of seconds between executing the ping command and receiving a positive response, and how many times it will retry, uh, and it will try three times. So we'll go and leave that as it is, and then we will click finish. We'll just wait for this page to load up. Okay, so now you can see that we've got an active uh, ping of the SP2 on sensor port 2. Uh, it saved our ping of uh, SP2 as the title for the sensor name. Uh, and we now have some further options which have appeared uh, in our advanced uh, sensor options here. Uh, the first one is the graph to enable it, to have it on or off. We also have the uh, sensors URL. Now, unlike other sensors uh, where you can type a website, uh, what you'll want to type in here is uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then you want to type in the IP address of that unit so again that would be 10.1.5.11 uh, let me just change that there there we go and then below that you can open the link in either the current window or the new window and we'll leave that as it is uh, and then below that we have the continuous time for the sensor to be in a new status before accepting the new status. This is exactly the same uh, as how it is in a normal sensor setup where you can change the values by inputting uh, any numeric value you would like in any of these boxes. And at the bottom we have our enable the calendar and you can have that on or off. And this works exactly the same way as before uh, where you can choose the hours in the day and the days in the week in which you would like that sensor to be active or inactive. So we'll go right ahead and click save. Okay, so that's all our settings uh, saved for the ping of the virtual sensor. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the summary page. And you'll see that we now have a virtual sensor ping of SP2. And it is online. Now, we typed in a URL uh, before, a sensor URL. And what that will do now is if you actually click on the title of the sensor name, the ping of SP2, it actually takes you to the login page of that sensor probe 2. Uh, so it uh, makes things nice and easy for you. And that's all there is to it. Nice and easy.